Hello students. Today, Andrew is going to be demonstrating for us the tree exercise. This is a great exercise to get acquainted with your skeleton and your spine and to learn how to relax your body and consequently your voice and your instrument as a performer. So, we are going to start standing with our feet six to eight inches apart. Be aware of your weight evenly distributed over both feet. Be aware that the weight of your body is balanced equally between the balls of your feet and your heels. In your mind's eye, picture the bones of your feet. So closing your eyes now so you can really picture internally. Picture the shin bones growing up from your ankle joints. Picture your thigh bones growing up from your knee joints. Picture your hip joints and the pelvic girdle. See the sacrum, the large bone in the middle of the back of the pelvis at the base of your spine. And picture your spine growing up from the sacrum through the small of your back, then on up between your shoulder blades with the rib cage floating around it and the shoulder girdle on top. Feel your arms hanging from the shoulder sockets. Picture your upper arm bones, elbow joints, forearms, wrist joints, and bones of your hands and fingers. Let your mind's eye flow back up through your arms and into your neck. Picture your neck vertebrae going up into the skull. Picture the topmost vertebrae on a level with your ears and your nose. Focus your attention into your elbow joints. Rotate them forward and let them gently float up in front of your body towards the ceiling. This should involve your upper arms only. The shoulder muscles stay relaxed. The forearm muscles are relaxed. The hands hang loosely. Focus your attention on your wrists and let them float towards the ceiling. Leave your hands hanging. Focus your attention on your fingertips and let them float towards the ceiling. And straighten your arms all the way up, letting your fingertips pull. Imagine someone is pulling you by the fingertips and allow your ribs to be stretched from above, up out of your waist. Leave your pelvic girdle, legs, and feet out of the stretch. Now do one thing and one thing only. Allow your hands to relax until they hang from your wrist. Register the contrasting sensations in your hands and in your arms. Label the sensation in your hands, relaxation, and the sensation in your arms, tension. Now let your forearms relax until they hang loose from your elbows. Label the sensation in your forearms and hands as relaxation, and the sensation in your upper arms as tension. Now let your upper arms drop heavily and hang loosely from your shoulders. Register the weight of your arms, the blood running back into your hands and the change in temperature. Label the sensation in your arms relaxation. Feel the force of gravity adding weight to your arms. Now let the weight of your head drop heavily forward so that your head and neck hang off the top of your torso. Feel the weight of the head dragging on a big vertebrae that connects the neck spine to the body spine, sometimes called the bull vertebra. Gradually give in to the weight of your head, allowing the bull vertebra to drag the shoulder girdle with it. Then let the weight of your head, shoulders, and arms draw the spine slowly down toward the ground, giving in to gravity vertebra by vertebra through the rib cage to the small of your back. Try to picture the vertebrae one by one. Let your knees relax so that your weight remains over the middle of your feet. 
Check that you do not rock back on your heels or forward on your toes. Check that your knees do not lock. When the weight is too much to support, release the lower spine quickly and hang upside down. Picture your torso hanging from your tailbone, giving in to the force of gravity. Breathe easily. You are doing this to relax all the torso muscles, shoulder muscles, neck muscles, head and arms. If your legs begin to hurt in this unaccustomed position, run your hands up the backs of your calves and thighs several times from ankles to buttocks, stroking away excess tension. Now focus your attention on your tailbone and from there begin to build your spine up again, vertebra by vertebra as though building a castle of nursery blocks, one on top of the other. Talk to your bones, see your skeleton. Do not use your stomach muscles, leave them hanging loose. Breathe, relax your shoulder muscles. Do not suddenly straighten the knees. Let them gradually straighten without stiffening as your balance shifts. Find the vertebra that carry your rib cage and build them up from the small of your back to the bull vertebra. You are now an upright but headless torso. Picture your neck spine hanging forward at a right angle to your body spine. Focus on the top seven vertebrae that make up the neck and gradually bring them back up until they are in alignment with the rest of your spine. Be aware that your head is floating up as a result of your neck coming up. You do not need to lift your head. Now with your eyes closed, run your mind's eye down from your head to your feet and let it travel up from your feet, up through your legs to your torso. Consciously relax any muscles that begin to tighten in the stomach, buttocks, shoulders, or neck. You are actively transferring the energy needed to remain upright from the large external muscles of the body to an internal picture of the spine, constantly growing upward against the force of gravity. Think of the spine as a stream of upward moving energy that is fueled by the mind. It was as though the spine were a tree growing up from roots in the sacrum, the legs, and the feet with its branches springing out to become the rib cage. Be aware of the shape your body cuts in the air. Be aware of the feeling of air touching your skin. Open your eyes. Walk around a little bit, noticing that it is your skeleton that is walking. Stand still again and closing your eyes, turn your attention inward and become aware of your body from the inside. Spread the relaxation from outside muscles to inside muscles. With your body mind's eye, look at your face from inside and relax the face muscles. Look down through your throat, seeing it as an empty open column. Look down through the lungs, inside your rib cage. See the diaphragm as the floor to the lungs and the ceiling to the stomach. Look down from the diaphragm to the pelvic floor and on down through your legs to where your feet are planted on the floor. Let your body mind's eye travel once more from the bones of your feet up through the skeleton to your skull and then back to your spine. Stand quietly for one or two minutes, being aware of your spine supporting the skeleton that floats between your skull and the bones of your feet, while the muscles and flesh of your body hang loosely on your bones. Stretch, yawn, open your eyes, and shake the body all over. <laughs> Register how your body feels. Register how you feel. Stretch and relax your spine every morning for the next two or three days. Be aware of the details and become aware of your skeletal behavior and the contrasting tension and relaxation that you feel throughout the day. Thank you, Andrew.